Hi, I'm Gregoire and I'm from the band Keys and this is video number two, which is the follow-up for video number one, where we talked about how I used an iPhone SE 2020 to record strings into Pro Tools for a song called Sweet Me Out to See. And at the end of that video, I made a point of saying we were going to use something to make it sound a little bit more grungy and a little bit more um, not so pristine. If you look in the link beneath, you'll find uh, a link to our previous video, so you got an idea. So today's episode is we're going to be using a digital piece of hardware called a Bisqui by a French company called Otto Machines. And we're going to use this to turn that sound into 8-bit and we're going to add some other bells and whistles to it to make it sound characterful and a little bit more interesting, a little less sterile. I think it's probably the best way I can put it. And why, you might be asking, why would I want to make something sound worse when it's 2020? And the reason for that is its character. If you were to look at the samplers and the technology that the bands that influence us were using in the early 80s, they weren't using pristine gear. It was all 8-bit converters, 12-bit possibly, uh, 16 if you were very lucky. But they all kind of added to a character which very much influences us in the style of music that we do. So come with me. We're going to show you how we do it and give you some um, ways of being able to do it yourself without relying on a piece of hardware because they are quite rare and they're no longer made. So let's get to it. So first of all, I'm going to show you on the Mac the, the software version. And this is by a company called Softube. And here's their plugin version of it, which gives you the main modes being wave, delay, pitch shift, and step filter. You can buy the plugin, I think it's like 199 euros, although they do, they are offering a special at the moment where I think you can buy it for $99. May I add, I'm not influenced in any way by Softube. They're just the only company that I know of that are doing a plug-in version of this uh, effects unit. Uh, so uh, Softube, if you do want to give me some stuff, tell me and I will tell them and everyone's a winner. So with the screen, with it being a software version with a bigger GUI, you've got the ability to make changes and save a lot more presets than you can on the device itself, um, which is, that does make life easier to use. However, it doesn't offer the Dotto synthesizer, which is a two voice digital synthesizer with a analog multi-mode filter. And it also doesn't offer additional um, effects that we are going to be using today. So it is it is very good. And you can, um, if you look here, you can try it now. So go have a listen to it. Let me know your thoughts on the actual plugin. But we're going to be using ours in a way that the plugin can do. But at the same time, we're going to be adding more that the plugin can't. So I'm going to go to Pro Tools. And I've already highlighted uh, the, the middle eight string section that we've got here. So I'm going to play this now. I'm going to play it bypassed. Because it's French, possibly, it is a little bit eccentric. So we've got, instead of a wet and dry control, we've got a naked and a dressed. So we're going to turn it on and I'm going to play. And we're gonna now, we've now converted the sound to 8-bit digital converters.
So there is a little bit of clipping, so I'm going to turn the drive down. <clears throat> so first of all, I'm going to invert one of the bits, and it starts to sound like this. I'm going to roll off the filter. All this can be done on the plugin, but now we're going to press this button here, which brings in a vibrato kind of uh, control. So Nice little bit of crunch at the end there. And now we're going to keep our dressed control at full and we're going to blend in the dry or naked signal. So that's 100% wet <clears throat> with a bit of the dry, well, three quarter dry signal as well. I can bypass the effect. So when this light is off, the unit is bypassed. That click you may hear is just a relay on the device. So I'm going to play it again and I'm going to alternate between the effect on and the effect off. So we'll start with it on. I think it adds and makes quite a difference. And if we bring this in with some reverb and we, um, I'll mute the other strings and stuff that I've got here. And we hear that with everything else. So there you go. That is how we are making uh, our sounds a little less pristine, a little bit more characterful, and showing you some of the equipment that we've got in the studio that helps us, I feel, define our sound. So we'll be using the Bisqui on all kinds of device, uh, devices, all kinds of sounds. So drums, maybe some vocals, possibly, or a vocoder at least, and things like that. So there you go smash that subscribe button, write any questions in the comments beneath. If you want us to go into more detail on some of our other processes, we're more than happy to share that information with you. But anyway, stay safe out there and we will speak to you very, very soon. All right, take care. All the best.